Our license to spill tour rolls on. This time we found ourselves in the mile high city of Denver to find the messiest food we could. Wow, now the true test is finding out what a mile high mess, huh? Get it? I get it. Will look like. <laughs> Chuck Nye is here a mile high in the city of Denver at the Taste of Colorado, where we are about to sample some of the messiest, most delicious foods that Colorado has to offer. And we're going to test the mess on our Mohawk Smart Strand Carpet. So let's get to it. You taste it? That's Colorado. Funnel cakes. Oh, look at that. It's floating goodness right there, baby. First, we get some powdered sugar. Powdered sugar. Powdered sugar. Apple cinnamon, Bavarian cream. Put a little chocolate on there. Okay, all right. And before I eat it, let me just say, you, you're so delicious. I love you. Okay, first I'm gonna try it with a little chocolate and, and sauce, okay? When you start dancing, that's when you know stuff is good, okay? This is good fair food. Is that Absolutely. what you're saying? Perfect Absolutely. fair food. I'll be the judge of that. I will, yeah. right now. Mm. Oh my God. It really is good. It's the smoke. It's the smoke. That's what does it. <laughs> this turkey gave its life for a very good cause. It did. Mm-hmm. Okay, now this is a rattlesnake brat, right? Yes, okay, here we go. I'm about to bite a rattlesnake. Yeah, that's a turn. I can't believe I'm saying this. I like rattlesnake. <laughs> it's delicious. Have some. Want some? Have some. Mmm, great. I'm gonna take it with me if you don't mind. <laughs> Sam Armitage wasted no time showing us what he means by comfort food when he took us behind the scenes at Sam's Number Three downtown. Where we use pork green chili to put on just about everything we do. So we'll go ahead and get started. First thing we do is we take this one pound oleo and we put it into one of our steam kettle jackets. We go ahead and put that in and we'll heat this right up. Take this beautiful half inch diced pork, fatty and juicy, and we'll dump it right in there wonderful spices, sprinkle them on top, and we'll take these nice onions ready to go, all diced up. Go ahead and start stirring up that pork, that oleo as it all cooks together with those spices. We go ahead and we take fresh Anaheim chilies, most of them are from California. We put the whole chili right into the roaster They come out with a nice char on them. And last but not least, the roasted green chilies. Let the locals dig in. I'm here with Lacey Boggs of Laughing Lemon Pie. That is your blog, yeah, right? Uh -huh. So you are uniquely qualified to talk about this two pound burrito Ooh. from Sam's number three. Now, mind you, Sam is standing right next to me. So don't I'm let, not gonna, don't I'm let, not gonna let that color my don't let color that influence my you at all. This is fantastic. This is really good Colorado style green chili with the pork in it. It's spicy, but it's not enough to burn your eyebrows off. So thanks to Lacey, Sam's Green Chili Breakfast Burrito got two spicy thumbs up. After all, there'd be no license to spill without something to spill it on. And that's where Mohawk comes in. So one question remains, would their carpet survive such a major mess? Elise, I bring you a true challenge. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's see if you can get this out. Okay, this, this is interesting. It's got a whole lot of things in it, considering it's probably got a lot of grease in it because yes, it, it was made with pork. That's right. So what we want to do is a little harder to clean it with just water because we you know water just rolls off the carpet. Water does so not get out grease. So we've got to use a little bit of clear dish soap. It's working. There you have it. You've bested me, Elise. You've bested me. Is there anything that will stick to this carpet? Well, there you have it. The Taste of Colorado was a blast. I came, I cleaned, I conquered. Who knows where this van will end up next? I do, because I'm hitching the rise. Now that we're back on the road, a license to spill is dusting off our shell crackers for the Port of Los Angeles Lobster Festival. Don't miss a record-breaking feast. Well, for now, follow along on Better's Facebook page and Twitter and at mohawkflooring.com.